I have the pleasure now of being joined by Dr. Sanjay Kolkarne, and you are giving a wonderful speech, I think. So it's entitled, If We Follow Guidelines, Then Who Will Invent? It's a great question, encouraging people to think outside the box. Absolutely. So tell me a little bit about your talk. Yeah. So currently, I'm the president of Urology Society of India. Uh, India is the largest populous country in the world today, more than China. And with the limited resources, we have to solve patients' problems. So well, the idea is, um, Steve Jobs once said that innovators are differentiated between followers. You understand? So innovators are important compared to those who follow. Uh, there is a problem, then we go to the books and try to solve the problem, then go to the journals, talk to the colleagues, go to internet, and if we think, if I think, if I'm the patient, am I willing to do the same surgery? And many times the answer is no. And then you can come out with a solution out of the box. Whatever we advocate to the patient, we are not willing to do on ourselves. And then this is a step towards innovation. So we have to have a mind which will give the best treatment possible to the patient. Clearly there is advancement in research and technology that changes things, but guidelines are still important. So how do the guidelines coexist with the innovations and the innovators? So guidelines are important for routine problems because suppose in a department there are one, two, three, four, five urologists working together, then they have to investigate and treat the patient according to guidelines so that there is a standard of pattern. You understand? So the patient, if he go, goes and sees a particular urologist or a B particular urologist, the treatment should be reasonably the same. But there has to be an innovator who can think outside the box and try to solve the problem in a better way. And that's where innovation comes into vogue. So how do you hope to inspire the attendees who are listening to your talk? So I'm going to show five different innovations published by me, two minute videos, just to show you how we do it differently. So the idea was there is a technique called Kulkarni urethroplasty, which is which I invented in 1997, long time ago. Then it took modifications and 2009, we had the final version. And then it is now accepted worldwide as a Kulkarni technique of urethroplasty, uh, where we make an incision onto the perineum. We invert the penis into perineum. Well, like you open up a banana, then we we have the whole penis and the bulbar urethra is a single unit. And then we mobilize urethra on one side, open it at 12 o'clock. We take two pieces of buccal mucosa, one from each side. We put it across. We quilt it like a quilt. And then we derotate the urethra. We pull the penis up. And the whole pan urethroplasty, the penile and the bulbar urethroplasty is performed through a small incision just below the testis. So there are a lot of advantages of this technique and now it has gone into the American textbooks. If you have one piece of advice for the attendees when they leave your talk, what would it be? Uh, think out of the box. Think you are the patient. Are you willing to do the same surgery which you are advocating to your patient? And the answer many times is no. And that, that's innovation. Great advice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.